And one last video to end off this unit on kidney and osmoregulation. If you've ever had a urine test, maybe you haven't because you're too young, you don't have to worry about your health so much, but I've been doing urine tests for the past 15 years. So what should you be looking for in a urine test? Blood cells, glucose, proteins, and drugs. Try to think about if, and maybe pause the video and try to ask yourself, what would it mean if you found these things in each of your urine samples? So here are some beautiful urine sample stock photos. I hope these are not real urine that they were using, but rather just dyed water. If you haven't figured it out already, if you have blood cells in your urine, that's not a good sign. It means there's blood in your pee. It could be some kind of disease, infection, could be early forms of cancer, but a lot of people get urinary tract infections, so don't worry too much if you see something like that in there, but just know that it's not supposed to be normal. If you understand the functioning of your kidney, you should know that the blood cells are supposed to be too big to flow through there, but if there is some damage, some tissue damage, it's probably not coming directly from the kidney. It could be somewhere else. Glucose should not be in your urine either. If you do have glucose getting through your urine, uh, it's probably a sign of diabetes. Back in the day, people used to, well, doctors used to taste people's urine. And if it was sweet, that was a sign that probably you had diabetes. Proteins, actually going back to glucose really quickly, glucose is actually, it actually makes it through the initial filtration phase in phase of ultra filtration in the glomerulus and the Bowman's capsule. Go back and review those words if you don't know what they mean. That glucose, although it gets through, it gets actively reabsorbed in the proximal convoluted tubule. So we use ATP to bring the glucose all back in. And uh, I guess if you have too much glucose, that means you're not being able to regulate um, your glucose metabolism. And so that could lead to too much glucose and therefore some of it actually getting into your final product of urine. So that's a sign of diabetes. Proteins are supposed to be too big, so they usually don't get through. Uh, they're usually too large, as I mentioned there. Uh, indicates some kind of kidney disease. You may have some small proteins present. For example, HCG, which stands for human chorionic gonadotropin, and that's usually there when you're actually pregnant. So if you are pregnant, and this is something that could be in your urine, that's what the pregnancy tests are actually testing for when you urinate on a stick and that little indicator thing shows up. This is a link to the disease unit, actually, where they talk about using monoclonal antibodies on these pregnancy stick tests to find out if you're actually going to be pregnant or not. Hopefully one of the reasons that you never have to that you have to do a, a urine test in the future is not because you're being checked for drugs, but obviously that is something THC, active ingredient in marijuana. We can find out if you've been smoking marijuana, so don't get busted. And don't even do marijuana, because that stuff's bad for you.